The FSB policy unit was launched here a decade ago and it was felt appropriate to come back again to mark that anniversary and also to launch our Real Life Entrepreneur campaign. That's a national campaign and this was the, it being rolled out in Northern Ireland. And to celebrate that we had the Secretary of State, the First Minister, the President of the Northern Ireland Local Government Association, the Head of the Civil Service, Permanent Secretaries, the Vice Chancellors from the Universities. In other words, a large number of the key opinion formers in Northern Ireland. But mixed throughout the room were also lots of genuine real-life entrepreneurs, FSB members from across the whole of Northern Ireland, representing lots of different sectors. And I think that mix was really important in letting the politicians feel what was going on in the business world and letting businesses see that politicians absolutely understand what they are, are needing, what they're feeling in their businesses. We really do need to encourage people to grow their businesses in a way that uh, even if uh, it is the assistance they need to get into export markets, uh, whether it's the encouragement to expand, that uh, there are people ready to, to mentor and to assist them uh, in doing that. Because I really believe that uh, you know, if that 97%, even a small fraction of them, were to grow their businesses, uh, it would very considerably improve uh, life in, in this province. I hope that uh, the FSB will recognise that under devolution, we have gone some considerable way to assisting them, uh, particularly in the area of uh, rates. Uh, and you shouldn't just gauge the measure of your success by the things you've got us to do. You should also gauge it by the things that you have stopped some ministers from doing, uh, and they have been equally uh, as uh, important. So my congratulations to the organisation. I wish you well, not just uh, in this programme, but more generally than that. I believe that uh, we can work together, and when we do work together, it will be for the benefit of all the, the people of Northern Ireland. And again, my thanks for inviting me here this evening, uh, and I make the invitation to you. If at any time the FSB want to come and see any of our ministers, the ministerial doors are open to your organisation and we always welcome your advice. Thank you. As Peter said, uh, the FSB's advice is invaluable. Uh, when I was the shadow, I was coming over here every week and I made a point as I've said many times before, going outside the bubble, not just talking to people in suits, Peter, but going out to see real businesses, and the FSB were tremendous doing that. But we work very closely with those in the executive, and uh, Peter and Arlene, I think, made a real, uh, they've done really well to get into the draft uh, program for government, a, an absolute determination to rebalance the economy. And we've been talking about that now for over four years. It is, you've heard me say this before, it is wholly unsustainable that Northern Ireland can continue with 77.6% of GDP dependent on state spending. That just cannot go on. It's perfectly obvious. And when you see the impact on the private sector, Belltel last week had a piece that public sector wages are 41.5% higher than private sector wages. That shows the sort of problem you guys have got. And that's why the FSB does an absolute sterling job in bringing to the attention of people like Peter and me the problems of getting private business going. And I think it's tremendous that you were here 10 years ago and set up the uh, policy unit. And I really wish you the very best of luck over the next 10 years. Because as a country, this is the only way out. And I'm sorry to repeat a really boring fact. We are borrowing £232,000 a minute as a country. We are spending £120 million a day on debt interest. That cannot go on. We have got to get our act together. We're going to have to make better products, sell them cheaper, deliver them faster, and get paid quicker than our rivals. Underpinning all of that success that we've achieved tonight, or you and your team have achieved tonight, along with the members who've been supporting every bit of work that's been going on behind the scenes, has been the effort that has gone into the last decade to actually get us to this point. Having now put the single structure into Northern Ireland and the other uh, devolved areas as well as London, it's beginning to show us considerable results and with the kind words from both the Secretary of State and the First Minister as well as the President of the Local Government Association, the doors are very clearly open now for you to go and uh, bang them wider open if you possibly can. What are we looking for for 2012 from the FSB? 
2012, I think we're looking for small business rates relief to be brought in in Northern Ireland. That will give a, a very direct assistance to a lot of small businesses. We're looking for movement on capital uh, access to capital and Invest in I have been doing a lot of very imaginative work on that. We're looking, to, I suppose, to see a degree of confidence returning so that people start spending money again. Money goes around, jobs get created and we start to, to see a bottom to the, the difficulties that we've been wading through for some years now.